Welcome back to Master Glass with me, Livio Laro. Today I'm going to make a dessert style martini called the Chocolate Mint Martini. Uh, I have started this channel over a year and a half ago now, and I realized that I really have not covered a whole lot of dessert style cocktails. So here is an attempt to do so. First thing I'm going to do is chill my glass, just like that, and I am going to give this a little stir, make sure the ice touches all surfaces of my cocktail glass today. And there we go. Okay, now in my uh, cocktail uh, mixing glass, I'm going to add 10 leaves of fresh mint. So I'm going to take these 10, 10 mint leaves. I'm going to just give them a little press right here just to get those oils out of the mint. Okay. I know I'm doing it right because I can smell it. Now, over here in the cocktail glass, I'm going to augment that mint with one and a half ounces or 45 mils of Marie Broussard green creme de mint. And there we go. I'm also going to use one and a half ounces of fresh cream. I want the drink to be a little more on the green side, but because I'm using dark cream de menthe, it's going to be a little more darker. So I'm putting my heavy ingredients, the, 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 the long pour ones, the one and a half ounces first. Okay, so next I'm going to do three quarters of an ounce or 22 milliliters of the Marie Brizard dark creme de coco, just like that and also three quarters of an ounce, 22 milliliters, of Mount Gay Eclipse Rum. Okay. The rum is gonna give us those nice, uh, sweet, uh, caramelly, wonderful notes. Okay, so, time to shake all these ingredients together. I'm going to give this a really good seal, you know, Heavy cream can be really hard to clean up. Okay, I am excited to see what is going to be going on here. Whoops, okay. Now in order to make sure that the chunks of the mint are not in the cocktail, I'm going to just fine strain or double strain. Gosh, that looks a lot like a grasshopper. I'm wondering if you would be interested in watching my episode from the grasshopper. Just look here and you could see a very similar episode that I filmed with another cool drink. Alrighty, now it's time to garnish this wonderful drink. I have some, just some common ingredients you would think of. Okay, so I'm gonna add these chocolate, small chocolate chips. They're just gonna float to the bottom of the glass and surprise whoever's drinking it at the bottom. And then one other thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this, uh, another, again, again popular brand uh, powdered cocoa, dark powdered cocoa. But before I put it in, now I'm going to just float a little mint leaf right on top there. I know I have a lot of mint, but I'm having a hard time finding really good mint right now. So I'm just gonna set that there and then I feel like dessert drinks are always a little sloppy, always a little, um, you know, full of, of calories and full of just all sorts of yumminess. So I'm gonna just sprinkle on here, just a little bit of this powdered cocoa. Look how cool that drink looks. Just like that. Alrighty. And there you have it, the chocolate mint martini. Also very similar to another video I filmed, The Grasshopper. Oh baby, oh yeah, this is amazing. Nice and amazing, very mint forward, obviously because I added quite a bit of the uh, creme de mint as well as the muddled mint leaves, but highly acidic, why? Because the oils of the mint are not cloying and sweet, they are nice and fresh. 
The uh, creme de coco is coming out very nicely, so it's giving us that chocolate part of the chocolate mint. And the rum comes through right where it needs to, a little of those vanilla caramel notes that it gives us. And wow, that is a great drink. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please do hit like and subscribe and come back to Master Your Glass with me, Livio Laro, where you get expert instruction for everyday consumption.